Yeah, all right. So, man, so still after you came home from prison, you still wasn't focused on the music or you still wasn't even doing music at all. Like, so, you know, what came next for you, you know, once you came home from the, from that situation? Um, I went to college. Uh, I went to Howard Community College. Uh, right. My mom, from, you know, she said on me about going to school or whatnot. I went to Howard Community College for like, uh, how long was it? You know what I'm saying? A couple of years, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Well, did, you, did you finish or you... Yeah, I graduated. I, okay. played, I played ball and everything. I graduated, you feel me? It's crazy because I was on parole when I was playing ball. So every time I would leave the state to go play a game, I would violate, you feel me? So I was risking going to jail just to play hoop. Damn. But, uh, it was just, it was one just to get out the area, you feel me? Mm. Where I was at, you know what I'm saying? Because if I don't know I would have stayed out, I probably would have been saying shit, you feel me? So I did that. Then I still wasn't, like, me was one of my, you feel me? I actually started a YouTube channel called um, Tips on the Drip. Mm. Like four years ago, four or five years ago, you feel me? To show niggas how to get dressed, cause niggas out here could not dress, you feel me? So I was just showing niggas, like, cause everybody used to be like, bro, you dress, you feel me? Like, all that, like. Yeah, now you do be fly, I love you, you, know you do be I fresh. I appreciate yeah. it, bro. Like, I was working at downtown locker room. I remember the manager even kind of me, like, June, then the June Sanders, he wanted to make all the new balances. Look him up, you feel yeah. me? I remember this, I, this is no cap, you can ask him himself. June was literally like, bro, you should rap. June, he said that shit like four or five, probably like six years ago, but you should rap. Mm. Like you literally dress better than like you like, and I'm like hell no, rap that ain't me, bro. He'll tell you the whole story. Like hell no, ain't me. Huh? I'm like I will think about it though. You feel me? And he sent me the uh, the dude named December. You feel me? December's a dude who uh, a dope uh, beep uh, maker. You feel me? Producer, yeah. engineer. Like he's fire. You feel me? So shout out December. He's telling me the thing with December. You feel me? So that's crazy. Like I never wanted to rap, bro. People always try to make me do it. Shout out my nigga Derek because I use a, uh, he like Baron too. Mm. Yeah, DJ. I used to go to his crib chill. Free sound on the mic, you feel me? All that, like, play mm. around, but I never took it serious. Like, they wrote my first song. Mm. I ain't never used it or nothing like that, you feel me? So, but I never took it serious. I just started doing it, you know what I'm saying, for fun, bro. Mm. Play around. And so, then, like, when did it kind of become serious? Like, did you just kind of, like, drop a song and niggas just fucking with it? Like, like, I was yeah. start taking it serious. When my homie didn't start, you feel me? Get down, yeah. bro. You gotta take rap seriously, bro. You gotta, you feel me? You nice, man. You gotta, yeah. you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take it serious, bro. So I started, you feel me? Mm. I take it serious, probably like 2020. Yeah. So when you came in, was you doing the auto tune shit first, or were you just straight rapping, or like how, how they came? I was, I was really rapping, rapping. I was trying to, you feel me? I was rapping about all the shit that like different shit. I, I wanted to sing like that. Yeah. Mm. I ain't found that voice yet. All right. Like, I was what? singing like lately. Oh, okay, that, that came lately. What what kind of um? How how'd you kind of find that voice? Um. I don't know. I, I made a song called Plan B. Okay. It's on YouTube right now, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, uh, and I song on that, like, there's a, a song right there, and then I was like, I could do it. I just kept it, you feel me? Yeah. Okay, okay. And so, um, all right, so with that, you said you said it's called Plan B. What, what year that came out? That was just... Uh, 2020, during COVID. Doing COVID? Oh, so this is doing COVID, you kind of started yeah, I this? Yeah, like, so I didn't want to sing like that before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Doing COVID was when I got, you feel me? Okay, yeah, cause yeah, cause that's kind of where um most of the music I heard is yeah from like twenty twenty and yeah. and up. I don't you know, cause like you um you were saying that they took down your, your older music, your the old yeah. label took down your older music. Yeah, they took it down off the platform and stuff, but can you will you ever put that tape back up or or? Yeah, well, eventually I just got to find it. Oh, okay, so oh, they so they got all the files like, and all that. And, nah, it's like it, it just they took it down. You feel me off the all platform because they feel like I had too much music out. Yeah, you know wait, they feel like yeah too much. Yeah, like we trying, they were trying to, we trying to rebrand re re my image and shit. So I don't really know. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I can see why y'all parted ways. On and I don't really agree with the too much music. Yeah, I no, like, I ain't gonna lie. That's my first label, like set, label uh, distribution deal. You feel me? And that's something I had to uh, go through. Like yeah. they say, your first deal is gonna be like your, your worst deal. So I believe that. Yeah. You feel me? Have you have you signed any other like distribution deals since then? Or yeah, yeah. Right now I'm signing to somebody right now. You feel oh, okay, I'm okay. Signing, I, signed, I got a distribution deal right now. I'm trying to. Uh, I got a. Uh, I'm gonna sign with, with a big label soon. For sure. Okay. 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 All right, so yeah, I want to talk to you about um, yeah your two projects. The first one, Beyond the Naked Eye, mm -hmm. and then Start Forever EP. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry with Beyond the Naked Eye. Like you know, what what was you know kind of the the uh, motivation and influence? Like what kind of made you want to make that project? Um, to show people like literally the, the, like the title of Beyond the Naked Eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just like beyond what you really see. Yeah. Like you might look at somebody who just got money and jury even, but you know they, they go through their own issues. So yeah. I was trying to like show people behind all the images you see on Instagram, you feel me, they go through real life stuff too. So okay. that's why I made me want to do it. Then my grandmother died during COVID. So okay. I made that whole tip in living room during COVID. Uh, I 
I'm sorry to hear Cover that. shot in my living room and shit. Oh, like, that's me painting on the wall. Mm. <clears throat> Everything was in my living room. I didn't even leave the house. You feel me? Yeah. So, Wait, you, uh, you paint too? Yeah, paint, draw, all that. Oh, wow, dang. Yeah, so. Okay. I end up, uh, <clears throat> I end up, uh, shoot, making that tape in the living room. Um, you feel me? Putting it together, all that. Dropping it. Um, and yeah, you feel me? Just dropping it, like, literally dropping it. Probably, like, I made the tape probably, like, in two weeks. And then, mm -hmm. Dropped it like after right at that. Hey. And how how was the reception? Uh, it was good. You feel me? Like I feel like I I, I gained uh, I'm saying I get a fan my fan base that I had mm. a, a deeper in understanding me a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying. Plus, it, I learned from that tape. You feel me? I put I did everything together like the organization, the, the transition. I put all that. So uh -huh. I do learned you, from that tape. Do you also um produce at all, or is it just just mm. okay, just me? Okay, Gosh, my nigga uh T M. Uh -huh. Shout out, we major TM. You feel me, my nigga TM, uh, Justino. Okay. My cameraman, I got uh, my cameraman, my my engineer Just, who record me and Luke. Okay. So like, nah, I um, TM, I usually use like TM TM beats a lot. Okay. But I got like a a, a a crazy method choosing beats. It take me a long time to pick beats. Yes, so. Okay. Just based on how I feel. Feel okay. And then um, with the start of Forever EP, um, talk about that. Um, why would you choose to make an EP instead of a, a full length project that time? Cause now when I do something on the label, you feel me? Y'all y'all can get my day day you do know I'm saying project. Like, oh, okay, okay, so you gonna say okay. You feel me? Hey. Like I'm saying, I'm, play, I'm playing the game how you play. You know what I'm saying? Hey. When I do something on the label, you gonna get that debut album. But until then, you gonna get EPs. Like right now, everybody, bro, I got 700 songs. Hey. Niggas tell me I, I could drop 20 tapes. I wanna do barely. You feel me? Niggas, everybody tell me drop a tape, drop a tape. But I want some shit like why? Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Like now, I only feel like I feel like I'm still slept on. I feel like niggas ain't really seen like how versatile I am yet. Like. Yeah. I still got a lot of shit I want to show people before I even think about the tape. Like, 